Good afternoon or good morning, Chansey Cardinals teachers and staff. It is March 20th through March 24th, and it's time for our Chansey News. Sorry, Chansey Cardinals, I'm coming. There we go. <laughs> All right, Chansey Cardinals, here's our weekly weather predictions for this week. Um, and again, we are still uh, experiencing some mild winter weather conditions. Uh, so this week we've got warmer temperatures than last week, but still looks like some rain in the late week. But Monday, 54 degrees and sun. Tuesday, warming up, 61 degrees, but no sun. Wednesday, rain and 59 degrees. Thursday, a uh, very warm day, but it looks like rain. So we'll see how that turns out. And then Friday, more rain. So the end of the week looks very much like March. But, you know, they always say that this wet weather early in spring makes for a real pretty uh, April. And when re spring really pops, it's like the plants getting ready for all the flowers and everything to be ready to grow. So well, Monday's the first day of spring, Cahill. Oh, it is? Okay. Like yeah. The 21st, I believe. 20th. Oh, the 20th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to keep up with all that. So the first day of spring. Mm. Yep, it's going to be beautiful. All right, good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Burton here. I am here to remind you of our daily behavior expectations. Remember, when you come to school each day, it is your job, your responsibility to be responsible, to be respectful, and to be safe. Let's try to do a better job of that today or this whole week. Um, some of you, if you've had some behavior issues or incidents or things that occurred, it's okay. It's a fresh start. So let's start this week on a fresh slate and um, work on making better choices. Also. All right. One area that we want to remind everyone to be respectful of is just morning announcements and specifically the Pledge of Allegiance. Boys and girls, there are a lot of people that don't believe in saying the pledge, but then there are so many Chansey Cardinals and families and just Americans that do believe in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. And so every morning I will invite you to say, say the Pledge of Allegiance. Whether you say it or not is completely up to you, but my expectation is that you are respectful of whatever your individual classroom's decision, classmate's decision is, and you are silent. So you have two options when the pledge is taking place. You can stand up and say the Pledge of Allegiance, or you can simply be quiet. And so teachers and staff, I'm hoping that you will make sure that students are honoring and respecting not only the pledge, but just the way we start our day every morning. And so if they don't want to say the pledge or if that's something that you don't agree with, just remind them that is a way that we start our day every day and that they are expected to be quiet and respectful of those that do celebrate or want to say the Pledge of Allegiance every day. I love that. And I, you know how great it is that we are at a school where we have the ability to maturely, respectfully, and responsibly make that choice um, within our classroom community and within our school community. So I love that. Invitation to say the pledge. I love it. All right. We have a shoe drive um, going on. There's lots and lots of shoes building up in the hallway. Um, if this is this whole um, school-wide service project has been led by our GT leadership team, as well as our student council. So, so shout out to them because they've been working hard at collecting the shoes, making sure they're tied properly and placed in the box. Um, we are collecting these shoes until March 24th, which is Friday, correct? That's this yeah. Friday. This Friday. So the class that donates the most shoes will win a prize. Miss Bauckham, your classroom teachers, everyone's keeping track of who brings in the most shoes. And so we'll find out at the end of the week, hopefully, who brought the most in. But I love that we are all supporting this wonderful organization. Thank you all for your donations. Um, and you still have time to donate if you haven't already. So <clears throat> I love that. I need to bring in some shoes from my house. Mm -hmm. um, boys and girls, teachers and staff, guess what? It is time for MAP testing. This is Woo! something that we have to take very seriously, just like we take all of our standardized testing. I know it's nothing that we really love to do, but it is something that we must do. We must demonstrate that we have improved or that we're learning. We have MAP goals that I want you to crush, like knock them out the box, crush. Um, because I, I do believe that you all are outstanding, that teachers are teaching really hard, and I want, just want this to be one way that we prove how much we're learning and how much we're growing here at Chansey. Love it. All right, boys and girls, so we're still in Women's History Month, the month of March, 
and we are highlighting Malala Yousafzai. I'm probably saying that name very wrong, but she was a very influential uh, Pakistani female education activist, and she gained global attention when she survived an assassination attempt at age 15. Somebody tried to uh, kill her because she was going to school, and it was, they did not want a woman to go to school and better themselves, so they, they tried to take her out, but she survived, and then in 2014, she won the Nobel Peace Prize at the age of 17. She is the world's youngest Nobel Prize winner, and she continues to fight for girls' right to education. Um, am I, what was the name again, Miss Burton? Um, I, Malala. Malala, okay. I, Malala. I would probably mess up her last name as well, but I think she's mostly known as Malala. She's got a book, I Am Malala. Um, but her story is very fascinating and how um, she puts into perspective how important it is for us to not take advantage of the right to be able to come to school and learn every single day because there are a lot of children just like you all in other countries that do not get that privilege and that right to come to school for free every single day so um i appreciate the work she's doing to try to make sure that all young ladies are able to go to get an education um, for free so. No, I, I agree. Just to finish up, I think it's easy in a country like America to take for granted or kind of complain about that. Oh, we have to go to school or we feel like school is something that is being done to us and and we don't like it. But really, school is a huge privilege. It is educating yourself. And her story shows that um, it is a right that not everybody has to be mm -hmm. educated, to to learn how to read and write and do math and have that kind of power. Uh, but we get that for free in our country and we, we should be uh, very grateful for that. But M Malala believes in the power of one person's voice to inspire change in the world. And I believe that that one person could be many of you Chansey Cardinals. I agree. Thank you. Your right. book's on sale. Is that you? Go for it. All right. Your books are on sale now. So boys and girls, don't forget to purchase your yearbooks. They are $25. You, the deadline to order them is April 14th. And this is something to keepsake. You want to get it and keep it for the rest of your lives. I don't know. Many people still really have their yearbooks from elementary school. Burton, mm -hmm. do you? I sure do. In my cabinet downstairs, elementary, I, I, middle, and high. bet you do. I, <laughs> for some reason, I'm not surprised. Cahill, do you still have your yearbooks? Yep. Here's one from high school. It's sitting right over here next to me on a, a bench. Oh, I have my camera kind of uh, Look at that. for my background. But yeah, we, we have all of them. And actually, as a kid, uh, my family, we couldn't afford to get them. Uh, but my wife, she has every one of hers. And since we grew up in the same community, I actually I show up in a couple of hers. <laughs> well, that's sweet. I love that. Oh, right. I was supposed to do this one, Burton. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. We've checked out 20,000 books this year. Did you hear wow. me? Not, not 200, not 2,000, 20,000 books this year so far, which is already huge. But the goal that Ms. Ketchum has set is for you all to check out 25,000. So you have 5,000 more to go, and we have roughly 40, 40-ish 40 something days. I don't know, Ms. Aberdeen. 40 something days, 40 something days to do it. I think we can do it. So I love that because that just tells me that that's a lot of books that are getting into the hands of our Chansey Cardinals and they are reading, reading, reading. So keep it up. Keep yeah, it up. That is fantastic. Hmm? I just want to add maybe one part of this as well is if you're missing a book, go find it so you can bring it back and then recheck yeah. it out and be yeah. part of this goal for us. Mm -hmm. uh, bring the books back so you can recheck them out. Yep. I agree. All right, so we're still highlighting the, the backpack um, skills of success. And this week's two skills are globally and culturally competent citizen. We actually touched on quite a few things, this announcements mm -hmm. that kind of meets this goal. Um, and then we're also uh, just looking at emerging innovator. Very briefly, I'm going to read just one or two of these kid-friendly kind of indicators for the skills. Uh, number one, for globally and culturally competent citizen, 
I put myself in other shoes when learning about issues from around the world and tried to come up with solutions to different problems. Um, number two, I try to be fair and listen to everyone's opinions when I come up with solutions or reach a decision. Um, number three for globally culturally competent citizen, I have a caring and understanding attitude towards others. I think that's a really big one there. And then moving on to emerging innovator, I'm curious and I ask a lot of questions and I like to learn new things. You know, I think this is almost every Chansey Cardinal in the building that is curious and uh, likes to learn. Number two is just I ask questions to make sure my classmates and I understand what we are being taught and to find out more about what we are learning. I think we would call that a clarifying question. Even if you think you already know the answer, asking the teacher, hey, this is what I'm thinking, and then explain that to them. And then they tell you, you know what, you're exactly right. Or, you know what, you got it almost right, but let's change a few things you're thinking. That's a huge part of learning, boys and girls, asking questions um, and just making sure you learn. And really what I always think about asking questions there's somebody in that classroom, maybe more than one or two that are also happy that you asked it as well. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Cahill. All righty. Oh, I think it's, <laughs> uh, it's marvelous Mondays in March. And so we will have muffins and pastries and just a few light breakfast 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 items for you to enjoy sorry boys and girls it's been a long day um, a few breakfast it's items on sunday it hasn't been that long of a day what are you gonna do tomorrow <laughs> oh, try to get myself together um but a light breakfast and a warm be beverage for you all to enjoy some coffee some tea a muffin or two so come in and enjoy that um just because we are so lucky to have you we are so lucky to have you all right, boys and girls, this is a just a little classroom conversation or something you could kind of talk about at home, um, just a kind of conversation starter. So if you could change one thing about yourself overnight, what would it be? And I think when you read this, sometimes you think, oh, I wish my hair was was blonde instead of red, or I wish that I was a lot taller instead of shorter, but I actually wish that I could play a musical instrument. I never picked one up and I'm so jealous whenever I'm around somebody that can play the guitar or or sing very well or, or just is musical. I love music, I love listening to it, but I really can't make it on my own. Miss Burton, uh -huh. Ivory, what's your thing that you would change? Um, I think for me, I, I, you know what, here you talk, I got two things. One thing is that I would work on not being a procrastinator and boys and girls, you may not know what that big word means procrastinator, but that is someone who takes, who waits to the last minute to do some of the things they need to do. And I am guilty of it. I'll admit. So if I could change one thing overnight, it would be for me to be, to not be a procrastinator and to get things done in a timely way so I can enjoy my time. But Mr. Cahill, as you were talking, I was also thinking, man, I wish I could speak another language. So if I could change one thing, it would be so that I could speak another language, Spanish, Spanish, French, Italian, I don't know, but I wish I could speak another language so that I could communicate um, with people from uh, that that speak other languages. So I just thought of that. Miss Ivory, what about you? That's a good one. I have a lot of things I would change. It's not that I don't love myself, just things that I would like to improve upon if I could. Um, one of them would be that I would not, I would just be more disciplined to do the things I don't like to do. So I would like to exercise more, but exercise is... <laughs> it is, ugh. You, I have to I have to figure out how to get that in. And I don't know if that's a time management thing or I just I just like donuts and I'm lazy. I don't know. The other thing I would like to do since we added this like a fun thing is I've always wanted to be like a dancer, like Ooh. dancing on the stars. If I could go on dancing on the stars or something and be <laughs> one of those people. Yes, I have very little rhythm. <laughs> Very little ability to kind of move it and shake it, boys and girls. I would, I would try to be a dancer. Oh, Miss Ira, you'd be a great dancer. I could see it. Uh, yeah. But I, I need some extra support to make that happen. A little bit of courage has to be in there, and, and I, um, it's not good. 
Oh. It's not good until that happens. <laughs> Boys and girls, Chancy Cardinals, teachers and staff, just please remember that you are important and unique. Be the best that you can be. Work hard and be kind. That is so important. You will change the world, so have a great week. Bye. Have a great week, Cardinals. Have a good week. Bye.